Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I have another movie review for everybody out there. And this one's going to be on, Why Don't You Just Die? But before I get into this review, if everybody who's watching this could please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. This is from Arrow Video USA, and it's directed by Kirill Sokolov. What this movie is about, it's about this guy who is going over to his girlfriend's parents house with a hammer and his mission is to kill his girlfriend's father because the father had raped his daughter years ago and now the daughter wants the boyfriend to go and kill him for her and when he gets there he doesn't realize that the father is this big guy he's also a police officer and he kinda like chickens out but he gets invited inside and sooner and then later the father kind of thinks something's up and then it goes into this whole big fight scene and everything from there it's the film debut of the director Kirill Sokolov I don't know how I'm saying it. they're all Russian this is a Russian movie you have to read subtitles unless of course you know Russian um, and like a previous review that I just did uh, this one is the one I mentioned that that takes place in this apartment building except for like flashbacks of things going on uh, it takes place in this apartment building and I'll tell you what this movie was surprisingly excellent like I didn't know what to think when I was gonna get into this and I thought oh, I gotta read the subtitles but it is done so well um, and it's kinda like in a way like a western inside of an apartment building uh, there's like the the uh, shootouts there's you know the villains there's people coming in to try to save the day stuff like that uh, you know it's just like like a western in a way that like it's just you have to see it to understand what I'm talking about and it's just a very very cool kind of movie if you like Quentin Tarantino like like you know earlier kind of Tarantino like Pulp Fiction or like Reservoir Dogs kind of like that stuff where they're talking about it and they do the flashbacks and stuff like that even some Sam Raimi things you know here um, Edgar Wright kind of things you know it it definitely be a, a movie that you want to see I, I would see more Quentin Tarantino in this than anything uh, there's like exaggeration of blood at times um, you don't know who's going to get killed. Everybody could die for all you know. The guy that's supposed to go over there to kill the girlfriend's father, and I'm not going to say his name. I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know how to pronounce his real name. I think his first name is Alexander, but it's spelled differently. Um, he does such a great part in this as well. You know, um, And the father, he looks like this tough cop. You know, Right away, he looks like a jerk. You know, he... he, and he He's just very, uh, he suspects everything. You know, it's his job to, like, know when somebody's lying to him and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So he knows, like, pretty much right off the bat something's going on. But, like, uh, and then there's the mother that's there, and she's just, like, is kind of like the housewife, like, making the tea and making the food and all that kind of stuff. And she's kind of oblivious to things going on. But then when start, things start to happen, she's, you know, obviously on the husband's side, but she doesn't want anything to happen to the god, to the other guy either uh, it's just a, a, an amazing fight that they have um, over the top kind of fight but like so good and brutal and then it does like these things like uh, I, I don't know what it's called or anything but like it, it's it's along the lines of where like it's like the beginning of Shaun of the Dead where he puts his name tag on, he brushes his teeth, and then he flushes the toilet, and then pours the coffee, and all that kind of, like, shoom, like the quick, quick, uh, zooming in on this kind of stuff, but, like, it shows about how, uh, he learned about how to get out of handcuffs and stuff like that, uh, flashing back to it, and, like, there's, like, just a lot of cool moments about what's going on, and, and why it's called Why Don't You Just Die, uh, it's, like, people in this are very stubborn to die you think they're gonna die or they're dead and they're not uh, and I can't really say much more about that or get into it too much because it'll give things away but man what a good movie what a really really good movie the only downfall is having to read everything um, but you know you get over it quick but I, I enjoy it and there's also another kinda side story going on with the father um, 
and that has to do with something he did and everything just comes together you know in this movie uh really 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 cool movie i, I really really enjoyed this this is fantastic to be honest this is a, a great movie that arrow put out uh so glad i got to see it because again it's all russian it's shot in russia everybody's russian nobody speaks english or anything um and the way they set up the scenes like it was just fantastic even like putting water on the ground to make it look like the, the car is in a puddle or you know it was raining so they made it look like it was wet and everything it's just like so much detail went into the scenes as well that they did such an excellent job um there's some gross scenes as well just fantastic i really was impressed with this i really really was i thought it was awesome but now let me show you what the inside looks like and here you have the artwork on the front i don't know who does the artwork to either one of these but you know you get this one and then you could obviously you always can reverse it to this one and even though i don't know i know what that says but i wouldn't know if i didn't know what the if see the front but i think this one's a lot cooler looking it almost makes it look like uh some kind of like japanese kind of like a kung fu movie or something i don't know but like i mean there's nothing really that wrong with this but i like this one a lot more and then here you have on the spine you know why don't you just die and then this spine here in the in russia in russian language and then of course you have the special edition contents on there and if you want to pause it now and check them out you can and here you have a booklet and the blu-ray and the blu-ray is region a and like i said you get the booklet in here and you know you get the usual stuff cast and crew you know pictures interviews about the transfer you know all that kind of stuff and there's the back so yeah like i said excellent movie i definitely recommend this one if you're a quentin tarantino fan uh i think it's right up your alley and if you see this uh tell me if you get what i mean by it's kind of like a western inside of a room like and like i said it takes place just in this in this apartment building in this apartment uh except for when they show the flashbacks to you know before he, everything got taken place in there but uh really the whole movie is just taking place in there and it's fantastic when like i said they can pull that off and make a whole movie in one setting and you don't even not even realizing it until you like at the end like wow that was really in one spot and they did a great job and uh definitely rewatchability i'd watch this again and uh you know i'm just glad i got to see it because you know i would have never saw if it wasn't for arrow bringing it out because i've never heard of it before and uh you know the title alone was very interesting and i'm just glad i got to see it and i like i said i think everybody would like this especially if you're a quentin tarantino fan you'll you'll really dig this but yeah that's all i'm going to say so if you could please give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button follow me on any one of the social media links in the description box below if you're interested in this movie i'll put a link below where you can purchase it also I'll put a link below for the trailer but like i always say proceed with caution it may contain spoilers well that's it everybody thanks for watching and i'll talk to you later bye